there. My name is Lucy Milligan Wall. I am a professional organizer and today I am going to be cleaning out my closet. So I, it's a Sunday here when I'm filming this. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm wearing my comfortable clothes. I had a snack. I'm hydrated. I didn't sleep last night. So this is a perfect time to start doing some decluttering and editing in my closet. So come with me. Let's go. So this is my closet. Um, it's already pretty organized. So what I'm not going to do that I usually do with clients is I'm not going to pull stuff out and sort it. Reason being, it's already sorted where it is. This is sort of how it always is. I didn't tidy this up for you guys or anything. Um, but what I'm just going to do is go through category by category and pick out anything that I don't want. And I will tell you about some of them so you can sort of see why I am making those decisions. These are pajamas I don't wear. I'm kind of fussy about pajamas. I want to be real comfy when I'm sleeping. And these ones, for some reason, just fit weird. Off they go. Okay, these are tank tops that I don't wear anymore. This one kind of is starting to pill. And once t-shirts start to pill, I start to avoid wearing them. And then what's the point? Um, this tank top served me super well. It's got a hole in it. It's time. And this one I got recently, but it is not jiving well with my undergarment situation. And I'm just not going to try and make fetch happen. I'm going to move it on to the next person. Okay, I am filming this in early May, which means it's a good time to get rid of sweaters that I didn't love over the course of the winter. So let me tell you, this one is a turtleneck. I thought it was real cute. Let me tell you why I don't wear this. It's got a big old logo on the back. <laughs> And I'm not that kind of girl, I've realized. I'm not a wears a label on the back of her shoulders type of girl. So this sweater is going to be moving on. Tried to make it work, it's not my favorite. And this one, I got some good wear out of it, but the shape that it is isn't working with the style of pants I'm wearing these days. So that's okay, gotta go. And this was your favorite and mine, an online ordering final sale mistake. I really thought it was gonna work. I love the color, but the fit is not great. So I'm gonna let it go. In the dress category, I'm actually doing pretty good, but this one, it's kind of cool because it's a shirt dress, but it's also got a scarf in it, but I, I literally never reach for it. And I think part of the reason is that the belt that comes with feels kind of cheap, even though it's, this was a pretty expensive piece. So I just haven't been going for it. Okay, so remember pre-COVID for like any sort of work thing, you would want to have a nice silk shell and then wear something over it. I still have a few of those, but these ones I'm letting go of just because I'm not feeling it and I have a blue one I like better. And these sleeveless shells have really served me well. I wore the hell out of them before the pandemic, but I am just not reaching for them anymore. So these shorts were a COVID buy. They were on really good sale and I thought they would be fun. Um, they fit pretty well. I just don't really reach for them. So they're going. This is the skirt that went with that turtleneck sweater that had the big old logo on it. Um, don't have a lot else that I could wear it with. So this one's gonna be sold as well. So I've gone through the clothes and now I'm going to go through the shoes and I am a shoe girl. So you're gonna see me open my shoe cabinet that is part of my closet. These pumps, they're super cute. They are starting to get a little messed up on the toes and they hurt my feet. I know, it really, it, it's a real bummer. Every time I put them on, I'm like, oh, they're not so bad. And then I walk around, I'm like, oh God, they really are that bad. And I have some really cute pumps that are actually really comfortable. Um, I will also say I have gone up half a shoe size in the past five years. I don't know exactly when it happened. I don't know why. I'm not a mom, it's not due to having kids. I think maybe it's just as you get older, your feet just flatten out a little bit and they get a little bit bigger. So these are half a size too small. I could not, would not buy them today. So they gotta go. Okay, and some more shoes. So these sandals, I used to love the style, good to like run around in. All of the metallic is now rubbed off of this leather. So it's not, they're not really looking too good. They, they really, I got my use out of these. These are so fun. Um, my dad got these for me. They're so cute. Um, they're not comfortable to wear like at all. You get, get kind of blisters on the bottom of the feet 
and they kind of slap around weird. These are supposed to be like comfy, like vacation slides, and they're not all that comfortable. I have tried, they're just not. So they will be moving on. And finally, similar with these, they're cute little like flat espirals. The other thing is, I don't know if you can see, um, this color is really close to my skin color, which in a shoe is not my personal favorite. I really like my shoes to be where I show like some personality and pizzazz and this really blends into my skin color. So these are gonna go. Okay, so we have some late breaking additions to the donation and sale pile because I brought my husband in and I asked him about a few things that I was on the fence on and he sort of helped me figure it out. So we added a few things, here goes. This is my rehearsal dinner dress. Got married in the year 2010. Probably haven't worn this since our third or fourth anniversary. Um, it's in really good shape. It's a beautiful dress. It's on Sala. So I'd kind of like to sell this and get it out there to another bride and hope she can enjoy it. So these two things are casualties of, I really liked the color online and they kind of wash me out. <laughs> Um, I really like gingham. These both happen to be gingham. Um, cute sundress, cute two-piece set. Unfortunately, I realized looking back at photos, the colors, they don't work for me. I'm, I'm really pale. My hair is light, just all light from head to toe. It's not like the best look. So I will be parting with these. This is a pair of jeans I found at uh, Saks Off Fifth one year. Um, this was when high rise jeans were just coming back in. Um, I loved them. I wore in, them incessantly for about four years straight. Uh, I just put them on recently. They feel so low rise. <laughs> it's so funny how things have changed. So anyway, um, did me well. I got tons of use out of them. This is a skirt I bought while traveling from a brand that I had loved a lot when I was younger and they don't sell it in the US really. And so I was so excited to find this brand store that I bought like six or seven things, which I, I never do. I'm a one at, one at a time kind of girl, uh, but I bought like six or seven things and then got home and looked at all the labels and realized that they were all made out of um, basically polyester, uh, no natural materials. And I really like to keep it to natural materials if I can, especially in tops actually, just because I'm a sweaty human and sweating in polyester is really stinky. So I don't like to do that. Um, but this skirt, it's it's fine. I just don't reach for it. I have better items. This one is a heartbreaker. Are you ready for this? This is this gorgeous Ferragamo hooded wool coat. It's so cute. It is just the tiniest bit too small. It was like, on the bubble when I bought it, I bought it when I was at my ab absolute thinnest <laughs> of life. And so now like, it's okay, but it looks funny. Like, it just looks funny. It's a little too small. So someone else going to be able to purchase this on the real real and love it. Um, speaking of warm things, this is a vest. Um, I was really into vests for a while. So I got this thinking it was gonna be sort of a like, I don't know, English countryside vibes. I live in San Francisco, I don't know. <laughs> but suffice to say, I got this out and my husband said, I've literally never seen you wear that. There's your answer. This is a former absolute workhorse. There was a time in the early 20 teens, like late 2000s, early 20 teens, when like every girl in her 20s and 30s was wearing these. Like it was just, they were everywhere in San Francisco and I wore the snot out of this. Um, and yeah, I just don't use it that much anymore. More shoes, I'm gonna get rid of more shoes. But you know what? It's making space to shop. Always gotta have some breathing room. So here we go. I loved these shoes. These were one of the first pair of designer shoes I ever bought. I thought they were so cool. You can really tell what era they're from. These are probably like 2011, 2012, like very of the moment. I just loved them. The last time I did a closet purge, I was like, oh God, Okay, platforms are kind of coming back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna see. You guys, I haven't worn them. And I, and I really can't see myself wearing them. So they're gorgeous, they're gonna move on. Speaking of gorgeous, these are my wedding shoes. <laughs> these are the first pair of Louboutins I ever bought. These are the first thing I ever bought for my wedding. 
Uh, we didn't even have a date. We didn't have a venue. We didn't have anything. And I bought myself these shoes because I wanted my shoes to be my something blue. I danced all night. I could not feel my toes for multiple days following the wedding. Uh, I haven't worn them since. And I have great pictures. I, our photographer thought they were really cool and made sure to get like cute close-up shots of like my shoes, my shoes next to my mom's shoes, me wearing the shoes, holding up the skirt. Like these are documented. I won't forget about them. Time to move on. These I got from my mom. Her feet also grew at some point. And so she gave them to me and she said, why don't you wear them? They're sort of like a kitten heel. So you would think they're kind of like more practical. These are atrociously uncomfortable. I have fully like 110 millimeter, that's the tallest they make, uh, Louboutin pumps that are more comfortable to wear than these. Um, there's something about the way that they're structured that's just like my feet say no. So these are gonna go. And finally, these were my workhorses in the 2010s. I would go to Vegas a lot. I'm from California, we do that. These are were like the perfect perfect Vegas shoes because they have this giant platform, so you get all the effect of a stiletto, but it, like you can stand and dance for a little bit longer. And because they were patent, you can just kind of like wipe them off if like things happen. So the phase of my life when I need Vegas shoes is now closed. <laughs> uh, I probably will not need something like this ever again. These, as you can tell by the inside, these serve me really, really well. So they go. So that truly is everything that I am going to sell or donate after my closet clean out today. If you want to see more about my closet, I filmed a closet tour video, which I will link in the description and also see if I can put a link to it. Okay, I just gave everything a little once over and I think that I am done. So yeah, that's cleaning out a closet with me, professional organizer. Um, there wasn't all that much stuff to get rid of. As you can see, I do this maybe every six months when I get a little itchy and I go, there's some stuff in here that I'm not wearing. I need to have it move on. Um, so there you have it. Uh, not too hard. And when you have an organized closet, it's really easy to clean out. So let me know if you have any questions, drop them in, um, in the comments below. Please go ahead and follow the channel, subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at LMW edits and yeah, follow along. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have about closet clean out.